my God, this is such an exciting episode. You know why? Well, many things. Number one, I've been doing this show. Um, oh, there it is. Hi, everybody. It's Maria from What's the Story with Mar uh, Maria. This is our third anniversary of our show. Woo! Very special tonight. Uh, first, I want to thank Jim Bell. He's our producer and engineer. And he has been consistently making sure that this show gets on Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, armedradioglobal.com. And he has been that guy, the connector. And I can't thank Jim Bell enough. Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy every week takes care of me, and I really appreciate it. So, and when you see that the show goes on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio, that is also Jim Bell. So, what do I want to say? This is also very special because I have been in the studio now doing this show since I think the last week in March by myself because of the pandemic. And, um, you know, we just wanted to be safe and we didn't want anybody to feel uh, that they weren't safe. So we had people calling in and we're probably going to continue to do that because people from all over the country are calling in. And also, um, I'm going to have some people calling in from England in a few weeks. But tonight, my brother from another mother, there wow. he is. My rival in baseball. Go Yankees. Go Red Sox. And we are also here because baseball is starting this week. Did you know that? I know that because... Uh, well, didn't you already start? Aaron Judge has 42 home runs already. Th wow. That's Please really rise. <laughs> <laughs> so I have... We, we wore our shirts. I have my special 2020 Suck shirt. And... Uh, He's got months in it. I think I don't have anything in the back there. I think it's just a, a regular. Well, song. Colton F Fisk wasn't, you know, that. Well, he was one of my favorites. You know that. And you know that the year that you ran that show for me, I was in Italy that year, was the year that the Red Sox won. What happened was you ran the show, you brought my bobbleheads down, thinking it was funny, and you put the, putting the curse on them, but they put the curse on you. That was a long time. I don't remember. Yeah, that was a couple years ago. Remember. No big deal. All right, so we're a little hot in our masks, but we're going we're gonna to continue to be safe. Um, okay, so first of all, I want to thank Chris. Another reason that Chris is on the show tonight is because three years ago, July 18th, 2017. Wow. Yes, can you believe it was the first episode ever of What's the Story with Bria and you and Susie Davis. Wow, Susie Davis. I know. I love Susan Susie Davis. B. She's so cute. So she was on our show. It was you and Susie, and I was so scared. It was hot. It was fucking. We were, ooh, we it were was, hot. No, it was so like, it's all right. It was <laughs> real. No, no, Jimmy's going to have to put an explicit know, on so that. But he that's did, okay. just told me to. He did? Yeah. He knew it was going to happen. Anyway. So you and Susie Davis came. I was so nervous. It was my first show. I didn't even have any really good equipment. And we did it. We just ran it. And you helped me. Thank God for you. You show. I didn't even know how to do Facebook Live. But we just did it between Jimmy and Chris, and they made sure that the show went live and got on, and that was our first show ever. So this is episode one, wow. five, six. Oof. Is that crazy or what? One, five, six. So let's check in with who has, oh my God, look what it is. Leo Rodriguez. There he is. He's out wow. in California now. He's left Portland just in time because, you know, they. who knows? They might be coming after you. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going out there. Leo was in Portland for a long time. I'm so glad you're gone from there, Leo. Um, Kate Greer, the wonderful and beautiful and talented Kate Greer. Thank you, honey. Yes, it's a big deal. Oh, my God. Mandar Chick, Chick Magnet. Magnet. Oh, my God. You, Hashtag you, MCM. MC, that's it. Mandar <laughs> Chick Magnet. He, uh, yes, it has been wonderful. Jeffrey Campbell. We love yes, Jeffrey Campbell. Yes, Jeffrey Holy cow. Is he talented? Um, what? I loved his videos that he I wish he would do a video all the time. I know, I tell I that. told him that I, every time he makes a video, he's a beautiful beautiful he, song concert pianist and he uh happens to be an accountant by trade, but that really is like his love and yeah. he's so good at it. So when he posts a video, I always post on Once a Story with Marie as well. Oh. Who's that? Johnny Tamara of Where the, is the he? Honey Zoomers. Oh my God, Johnny Tamara. Edie Gershman from Chicago. Hi, Edie. She's my Rodan and Field skincare rep. Did you know that? She's my skincare rep. And then I can make sure that you get 
wonderful skincare. I've put some skincare on you before. Pretty much, yes. It's always yeah. exhilarating. Yes, that's it the, is exhilarating. That's the word I use. Yeah, no, it's true. It kind of wakes up your skin. Yeah, it's very refreshing. And then Johnny Tamaro. Oh and my that, God, he's such a nice oh, guy. Can you? You had just had a. Uh, you and your beautiful wife just had an anniversary. I, I want to say 17 years. He's got an amazing son. Yes. Talented as hell. Uh, and he's oh a natural. My, oh my God, look, Lynn Portis. Genius! Look what he's got on, Lenny. Immorti. Immorti. Lin That's the uh, Italian version. Imusi app, guys. It download it. Musical texts. Do it now. And it's only one dollar for a thousand for twelve hundred Imusis. One buck, ninety nine cents, and you get your Imusi app. All original music. It's amazing. These thirty funny. second, really funny texts that you can send someone instead of saying to someone, "I don't really like you." You can send a musical text that says you, you work in my last name. You know what? I wish I had one like that pretty uh, recently. That, yeah, you know what? You'll get, <laughs> you'll get to use, that. use it. You'll get to use it. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to have Lynn uh, call in very soon. Jay Rivera, the very handsome. Yes. Yeah, my second episode. So first one was Chris Apiro and Susan Davis. My second episode was Jay Rivera and Lynn Portis, genius. Oh, wow. I remember that episode. That was a really nice What's up, Jay? Jay is the most wonderful. Oh, my God. Anthony Barilli. Yeah, LGM. Oh, my. Let's go Mets. That's what that Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. Well, the Mets are looking really good this year. It's going to be a nice short season, but I think they're going to do some great things. You don't think so? I was watching them the other day. They were hitting did you see the game against the Yankees? Yeah, well, the Yankees won, but I mean, and it was forty-two to two. So. No, it wasn't that much. No? It was. They looked pretty good. I thought they looked good, Anthony. All right, Lynn Portis. Everybody loves Chris. Looks everybody terrible. does <laughs> love Chris. Oh my God! Look who it is, Judy Mesa. Hi, it's, honey, oh Bonnie. Oh my God! One of the most honey, beautiful honey, look... girls ever. Right? Is Judy Mesa? Yeah. She. Thank you for yes. saying. I, I mean, I think so, but she is and super smart. You know. Yes. She's got a bunch of degrees. She's no. She's no dummy. You know. All right, now Leo Rodriguez is there. Who else do we have? Uh, it's our regulars. I think we should, st well, so we want to start, we want to thank Jim. Thank you, Jim. Jim has really helped us with this. Oh my God, Rena Crignoli Berge, my cousin from Massachusetts. Yes, the great Rena. Rena, yes. Go Yankees. Well, she's, all right, one, five, six, yes. And Rena's going to call in at some point. I'm going to have Leo call in. Jean, I mean, uh, hi, Jean. Jean Simpson, my friend, Jean Simpson Dunn. She's in Indiana. Hi, Jean. But That's she a great is, name for nowadays. And she is a Red Sox fan as well. <laughs> she grew up in Massachusetts. Sylvana Mastrolia, my beautiful God. beautiful Sylvana Mastrolia. Big news on Sylvana. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah. No, we have to talk yes. about everything you're doing. Giovanni Sachi, you know that Susie Campanero. Yes, Giovanni. Brother. What's up, G? Oh, my God. All right. So, Johnny, thank you for posting the Honey Zoomers. So we're gonna have to talk about that. We got a, Johnny. Maybe you should call. Wow! In look at all this already. What, I it know. We got like a we've lot. been on here for an hour. Look at Cecilia Farrell. Beautiful. Who's that? Uh, she is my sister-in-law. Oh, that you love and, her. Yes. Oh She's my so God. nice. I've known her since we were 15 years old. And you have beautiful nephews. She's always. They are. What an amazing. You're always young. bragging about your nephews. Yes. Okay. So Chris, she, Rena says Chris go socks. All right. Oh, whatever. Why don't we start with this, Lynn Portis? Would you please call in? Call what? into the show right now. We're going to talk to Lynn Portis. Genius! Oh, I think she should call in. I think she should. She should be on the whole show. Right. We, we owe so much to Lynn Portis. Where would we be without Lynn Portis? Uh, but you know what? That'll give me time to give you your three-year anniversary gift. What? I bought you a gift. You're kidding you me. You ready? Let me see what you have. Slightly used. Slightly used like the rest. Oh, wow. A big ass. A big ass. Oh, big. Instant mm -hmm. hand sanitizer. I got a little. This one. is amazing. Is that something? Let's, this in case we have people. Oh, here comes Lynn. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm ready. Lenny, hold on, honey. I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Lynn Portis, genius. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, you guys. Hi, Chris. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Maria. Hi. I love you. Congratulations. Happy three-year anniversary. Well, I wouldn't have made it without you and Chris and Susie and uh, Leo and Mandar and Rich. I mean, everybody, Jeffrey, all you guys. Well, we that... are all honored. Let me just say that everyone who calls in or has been there and has been lucky enough to be a guest of yours, it is a, it's an honor. And of course, always good things always happen. Good things always happen. Good things always and happen. I just What's wanted this? to say congratulations. And we have a little What's the Story with Maria song that... I have to tell you the words to what? Sing a little bit. Did yeah. you did you write a song for the show? We made a song for the show. 
Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, here we go. What's the story with Maria every Tuesday comes to see her? She's got an open heart, an open mind. With the New York City head, with an added Boston word, you never know exactly what you'll find. Okay? Second verse. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. What's the story with Maria every week? A new idea, you like her? I that love that. Help you feel, that can help you deal with life and love and pain. She's got actress, artists, all the pros. Maria's fun. She fills the show. And every week her house gets rearranged. <laughs> What's the story? For watching the night. What's the story? The best part of Tuesday night. Come to show everybody. Come and see us. Even in Slovenia. Leo, over here. I can't do it. Uh, go ahead and get eaten. Right. Okay. So we're here again. It's 9 p.m. Where all her family, all her friends, she's talking, laughing, loving all the while. And even if you're not watching on your radio, just listening, you'll slowly see or hear Maria smile. What's the story? Santa, sick man. What's the story? Chris, what's the story? He's no What's the story? We love you. Maria, happy birthday. Oh, Aww. Lanny. Lynn Portis. Thank Aww. you. You see why I call her a genius? She's a genius. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, now we listen. Love you. And I, I know you have a lot of phone calls. Yeah, but I just want to say something because I Gavon's produce is starting back up, and Lynn is once again scoring that, is she not? She is. She Tell always will. Tell us about will. that. Tell us about that. Uh, so Lynn has been scoring uh, Gavon's Produce, a web series, uh, for the last uh, three, two years now. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, she is awesome with it. And, and I, I feel so fortunate to have her part of the thing. She just adds so much to everything. And uh, the last uh, episode that we'll probably talk about, she did an amazing, like, eight-minute score straight it was, through it was uh, intense and my friend Chris uh, has I mean his acting if you have to see it if you ha I don't want to give anything I, away no but can I, I just I say and I, no I mean this wholeheartedly I'm not just saying this because Chris is here and you scored that whole thing which you always do but it was my favorite of all the episodes yeah a lot because, of people are saying it yeah, it's be, by far it's really the acting the level of acting level. was so uh -huh. amazing and you had nobody to bounce yeah. off of I mean, you had the cab no. driver, I mean, the Uber driver here and there. <laughs> but really, it was you. It yeah. was really amazing. I, if you haven't seen the new well, episode of Gabon's, how do they catch it, Chris? I'm, I'm going to put a link on on the uh, on the chat right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, and they I'm can watch say it. Leo, so quick, Leo. But thank you, everyone, all your listeners. Um, I just, I love being part of your family. Well, you are. That's what the song says. You Leo, listen. All her family, all her friends. You, you know, are stuck with me. Thing. You're stuck <laughs> with me whether you like it or not. That's it. That's what happens. I kind of like... Us. And yeah. I'm happy to be stuck with you. I'm happy to be. That's Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis. Anyway. All right, yeah, I'm honey. happy to be stuck with you. I Bye, love, guys. love, love you. Congratulations. Have a wonderful night. I'm keeping... I'm going back to my Facebook. Also, listen, I want to tell everybody, I think some of you know, but Lynn and I wrote a wonderful song called Hiding in a Ghost Town. Oh, my Oh, and it's God. it's about yeah. what was happening in New York during the pandemic, and I it's really good. And I took some pictures and went out there, and uh, Leo arranged the pictures in such a beautiful manner and made this video. So maybe Leo, you can post that up as well. Okay, thank All you, right. Lynn Portis, genius. Okay, love you. We love yes, you so I'll talk much. Yes, talk to you soon, Lynn. Thank, thank you, honey. beautiful. You. Love you. Bye -bye. She's Bye the now. best. Lynn the, Portis, you know, there's nobody better. No, top notch, top notch. Now listen. Yes, say it. Do you need any of this? Say it. Sanitize. Yeah, why not? Come on. All right, now <laughs> we gotta open this thing, though. We gotta, cause you know how you gotta uh, unscrew it. Like, yeah, safety. You first. have all this stuff, cause you're a Lyft driver, right? And yes, I made over a thousand dollars two weeks ago. Really? Yes. I worked on uh, the 4th of July. Oh, that's a big day. Holy, they were giving me fifteen dollars just to go online. Really? And pick up, yeah. So I would drive with somebody uh, uh, five blocks, yeah, and make three dollars on it, but it would be eighteen. Wow! I, so I got you broken. 
<laughs> no, I think it's just the pump, but you it's know what? Lock. Here, let's do this. I'll put All you right. take a little bit of it and All I'll right. take a little bit of it. Because we oh. are clean as whistles in here. The what's the story with Maria show? That's it. We are sanitized. Hot thoughts, Sealy. We're sanitized and masked and all that stuff. We're ready to roll. So that the beautiful Farron Dietrich is watching. Oh, who's Brooklyn. that? Oh, great designer. She she designs uh, masks and a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's amazing. You can uh, Google her name or just uh, find her on the chat list and, and uh, you'll find her website, her Etsy. Okay, so maybe maybe uh, we'll put that in after the show. All or right. put it in. Is she here now? Uh, I, she was. I saw her name up there. All right. Put your Etsy uh, link in there so people can find you, honey bunny. What a beautiful name, All Farron. Right. Farron. Yes, that's a beautiful name, yeah. actually, Farron. All right, Leo, thank you. You're so sweet. Leo's the best. All right, so let me see. Rena, I think we have to have Rena call in. Rena, if you can hear me, would you mind calling in? Because my cousin Rena Cornelli Berge, wow. uh, last year... No, no, the first year, yeah, the first year that uh, was our one-year anniversary, Rena hosted that party, that incredible party, with a bunch of my family members, and she opened up her home. She and her beautiful husband, Ron Berge, opened up their home, and uh, we had this big, crazy party at, at, in Woburn, Massachusetts. So Rena's going to call in next. Rena, if you can hear me, make that phone call, unless she's in the bathroom. She could be in the bathroom now. Hey, stop that. That, oh my God, honestly. Stop that. I'm sorry. Now listen, let's talk a little bit about Gabon's All right. and your fart noises. Yes. So you, you did this by yourself. How did you film? Because I was watching, I watched it twice. But, oh no. Oh no, okay. It's, Hold on a second. I'm gonna start it again. We're back. <laughs> oh my God, we're back with What's the Story with Maria. You know, this happens sometimes on Facebook, Wait. but it is our three-year anniversary. There, there it is. Go. It's our three-year anniversary. Sometimes this happens on Facebook Live, but we are broadcasting live still on the radio, so we continue. My cousin Rena Krujali Berge has called back in. Wow. Yeah, she's called back. She's called in now. Rena, I want to personally thank you because the one-year anniversary of our show, you hosted it at your house. Do you remember that? Yes. Oh my God, it was so much fun. So much fun. And do you remember who was it? We had everybody there, right? We did. Now, Ron, Rena... Ron's here next to me, too. Ron says he was there, too. Yes, Ron. Uh, <laughs> fleet of foot. He's our mailman. Fleet of foot. <laughs> now, may I just say, I want to, so I want to thank you. And I also want to say, Rena, you always make the show. I think it's very rare that you don't make the show. And you have to... I honestly think in all these three years, I've only missed... Two episodes. So you've seen 154 so. episodes. <laughs> wow. Which was your favorite? Surprised. Yeah, what, what, was your, what was your favorite? I don't, you know, it's hard to say because you have, like, the greatest gift, guests on. They're, like, you just have such quality friends. And I, every Tuesday, I'm entertained, I'm moved, I laugh, I learn something new. And then the best of all, I feel like I, I hang out with you for an hour, which you're one of my Aww. favorite people in the world. And we're cousins, so we love each other anyway, and we get each other. What, what do you think of my Red Sox getup? I love it. Did you see and Chris has got his Yankee? What, honey, say Yankee that again? Boy next to you. I like the... I said I like the contrast with Yankee Boy next to you. Oh yeah, uh, Chris, you? I have a name, a Yankee dear. Yankee Boy, she calls you. Boy, <laughs> that sounds like a sexy movie, Yankee Boy. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh yeah, did you see Chris, Yankee I've Boy? I've never, I've never forgotten the bobblehead incident. That's why. <laughs> the <sorry>. bobblehead incident. <laughs> she remembers. Oh, that's hilarious. I was in Italy. <laughs> I was in Tuscany and and I, sleeping in the middle of the night. I woke up in the morning to watch the episode, and he had dismantled my entire Red Sox collection. I, I, does the word exaggerate mean anything I to mean, you at the, all? The things that he was doing with those poor bobbleheads. But, Rena, I've told you this before. He put a curse on the Yankees by doing that. They lost that year, and the, Yankee, uh, the Red Sox won the World Series. Well, because it was so brain. We were all watching it. It was probably a fachada is what it was. Yes, it really was fachada. It was crazy. <laughs> so I was an Italian word for like fachata all over the place. It really was. And fachada is like, it mean, really means without face. So like, like not afraid of anything. Like fearlessly destructive. No, stop it right now. Get over here. He's trying oh, yeah. to start it again. No, you will not start it. 
Rena, he's talking to me. Now he's, now he's gonna go and get a ball. Don't you dare touch my bobbleheads. Your Yankees are gonna lose again this year. You cursed yourself. I mean, How do you you like that now? You cursed yourself. Jesus. I don't believe in curses. Yeah, well, we do. All right, Rena. I want to thank you for hosting the party. You've had two, two at your house though, right? We had twice. Yeah, we had, we did it twice. Oh my God, that was yeah. so fun. And then once we had it at Marisa's, I haven't seen Marisa pop on yet, but if she does, I'll have her call in. I'm coming up there. I'm, yeah. oh, I'm no. coming up. I'm going to meet this one. Oh, no. You have yeah. to come up. You would fit She's right She's laughing in. at me. Literally, constantly laughing. Listen to her. No, definitely. Yeah. Chris, I will, I will be the perfect hostess if you call, I promise. Come oh. for a road trip with the She's too nice. She's, <laughs> She's, She's an amazing sweetie. cook. Rina, I love you, Rena. Thank you. Rena, you would actually <laughs> love each other. Rena is an amazing, amazing cook. I'm an amazing eater. Yes, he yeah. is an amazing eater, like your brothers. Oh, my God, you have something in common with my husband. <laughs> Fantastic. Husband. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, my she's love. So cute. She's so cute. You know, and you know what's best, great about Rena? She's the best audience. She loves it. Every, all the best jokes. That's why we keep her around. She's very, very, very smart. She gets things done, and she is a great laugher. So we love you. Thank you. Thank God for Rena. I love Rena. you, too. I love you, honey, love and we'll right, talk to you. Put the wine down, dear. No, she oh, doesn't. Drink, I saw you, Chris. No, she has a few wines, but she's not oh, like right. a, she's not a, a drunkie. You know, <laughs> Jesus. All right, <laughs> I love you, love you, love you, Rena. Maria loves you, Rena. Uh, I know. I know she does. It's beautiful. He, he's just like Ronnie, isn't he? I love you, too, Chris. I love you because Tia loves you. So. Yes, uh, thank you. And I love you for the same reason. So cute. All right. All right. Have a great rest of the show. I'll be watching. Okay, you, love it. Thank you, honey bunny. Bye. Bye, baby. Oh, I, she's I, I, so cute. Yeah, you love Rena. So, so this is what happens sometimes. Now, poor Leo has to put the shows together. So it's a part one, and this is part two. Yes. We were live, and now we're live again. Okay. Yes. So, now I think I spy, I spy Lavinia Draper. Oh. Is there any way? that Lavinia Draper could call into the show. Let's see if we can get her to call in. Because what's happened is Lavinia has been on the show many, many times. She's called in. She's been here. She's been sleeping on the stoop outside. She's Look. probably sleeping with one of the Kennedys. That's what she had an affair with Ted Kennedy. She, she did? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that's what I heard. We think it's true. I know she's very... Uh... She's, you know, free she's, she's free like that. Yes. Promiscuous, right. is that what they call it? The, uh, the yeah, fantastic yeah. Jerry Mastrolia. We love Jerry Mastrolia. What a family. Oh, my God. The Mastrolias are amazing. Yes, there is uh, Jerry. There is uh, Silvana. Oh. There is the gorgeous uh, Darlena, who is very low profile. So she is very uh, Sorry, Maria can't. Oh. No, I had a low. I thought you left the show. Down. Oh, I don't know if, if Lavinia up. heard us. No. So maybe... Uh, well, we can hear... All she has to do is open a window. We can hear her. She's, that is true. Yes. That is true. Maybe I'll call her. Let's see if we can... Uh, let me see if I can get a hold of her. All right, so... Just call the White Horse Bar. Is that where she is? Is uh, that place still open? No, I think they lost it. Temporary lost it. Well, you know what? Someone. Let's see if we can get... Why don't we have Leo Rodriguez call in? Leo, would you mind calling in? Because I wanted to have Leo call in. I was thinking of having him last, but maybe I'll have Lavinia call in last. Yeah, Leo, why don't you call us, honey bunny? Oh. What's happening there? You... Uh, the Twitter feed, just a second. Oh, time. okay, just all right. Well, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to take a little sip of this. Yes. It's hot as hell in here. It's up there. And I've had the AC on for a day because the, literally the temperature outside is like 103 or something. Wow. So you did really well with the lift, huh? Yeah, it did very well. Yeah. Very well. Who's a, late. Amanda is saying Jean Arena. I know, where's Dominic tonight? Dominic always makes fun of all my family names. Poopa? Dominic Poopa. I know Poopa. Oh, here comes Leo. Leo, hold on, honey bunny. Handsome. Everybody, it's Leo. Oh, Leo. <laughs> Chris. Chris. What the hell oh, happened? God. Oh my so God! So sorry, I cut into his time. Leo, how are you, honey? <laughs> I am doing well. I am doing wonderful. I I think that I thought that um, 
I thought that my friend there was going to be wearing the Red Sox mask tonight. Oh, you mean Chris? No, he was going to wear the Red Sox thing, but he just changed his mind at the last minute. I thought we were going to... I would never. Never. He would never, as I would never wear a Yankee. Ever. Ever. Hi, hi Jerry. I, I, I'm looking at the feed coming through. Yes, hi, Jerry, Jerry. Mastrolia, Annette everybody. Zito. Oh, my God. That's what all a great the stars. Uh, accidental intern. Yes. He's on the phone and actually giving us play-by-play. Play-by-play. And then Gene... <laughs> Jeannie Craigie, who comes on every week from Stoneham, Massachusetts. Hi, Jeannie. How are you, Gene E. Craigie? Okay. And then, so Leo, <laughs> we want to thank you. Leo makes, in case you don't know, folks, Leo makes the uh, videos, the um, promos every single week for the show, and they are unbelievable. And uh, Shop. Yeah, they're really Shop. good, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't send him those pictures. He goes and finds That's everybody's work, pictures. Man. That is work. Yep. He goes and finds I'm, all that. I'm ready for Chris to get a studio for all of us to just, you know, have our own TV station. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> did you, <laughs> Leo, did you see the first episode of Gavones for the season? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm loving, I'm loving also the, uh, the blood effects, I have to say. I, I got I, I, a little gory for me. But, a little gory. Uh, uh, I'm, digging the, the I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Oh, God, yeah, that was like a flashback. Yeah, you didn't like that. Oh boy, it's gonna get gory. I oh, think. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be it's a lot amazing. of twisting. It's really amazing. And like you said, as everybody said, you know, the genius putting the underscore. I know, isn't it amazing, uh, Lynn Portis? Uh, you know what? You really gotta listen to it with this episode because it everything it changes right throughout it, it, it mid scene. She matches it up exactly to the feelings of the scene. As the scene changes, the musical change. Yeah. And it's just so dead on, man. It, it makes it really look legit. Yeah. You know? She and really I, does I, an uh, amazing job. But. I know you guys were, we were talking about uh, Lynn last week, and I've, I've been fortunate the past couple of weeks to be able to work with her. And, uh, and uh, yeah, she keeps the whip on you, let me tell you. Yeah, she's, <laughs> really, she's really, really good. <laughs> So, I'm Leo, are you... Make her laugh because I love her. Well, mm -hmm. Maria, before I go in off the line, can you check your texts while you're listening? Okay. Uh, while I'm listening, <laughs> uh, let me see. There, there, there's a photo on it that you'll have to check that has a tracking number. And that's all I'm going to say for your surprise. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a cliffhanger this week. of uh, I, The tracking number is in your phone. And you'll have to keep abreast of what's going to arrive this week. Oh Here's my, okay. Of, I, I see a shipping label, but it doesn't say what it is. It's an, I know it doesn't. Oh my God, am I getting something from you? I'm getting a present from you? Wow. Yeah, what did you get? Oh, you know, you got me the thing. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> did, you, did you see what Chris got me? He got me some hand sanitizer. You can't open but the, the top is broken. The pump is broken. I think that's why you got it on set. Leo, I can't, I can't believe you sent me a present, honey. You're so sweet. You, um, uh, I did. Well, you're going to love it. And next week, yeah. next Tuesday, you're, if, if everything arrives and FedEx is our friend, okay. then, uh, then we will be able to um, display it next week. Oh, that is going to be and so much fun. Say, we're creating some <laughs> All right. Drink it, Chris. Do you know that he just splattered me with sanitizer? <laughs> what do I look like? A hooker? <laughs> oh, my God. It was God. premature. It was premature, <laughs> I, I, and I wasn't expecting it. Uh, another Master Leo. Oh, my God. Yeah, keep going. Well, Leo, first of all, I want everybody to know Leo does all the promos for the show. However, I am... I, well, I, you I, know, I have... Happy third birthday anniversary, and I hope that, you know, those that don't get a chance to call in to say that uh, it's been my highlight before the pandemic times and throughout. I look forward to being together with you guys and and, uh, and listening to all the great stories and all the great advice that we get from everybody. Yeah, we do. It's it's We get a lot of information on the show, that's for sure. Yes. That is for sure. Well, yeah. listen, honey, I want to tell people that Leo is a gun for hire. So if you need a video made or some kind of uh, something that Leo can help you with or a poster or something, please, for promo stuff, just reach out to Leo Rodriguez and he will take really good care of you. Okay? And you have my uh, website right 
Okay. Oh, great. Perfect. So there you go. Leo Mul Rodriguez. Multi-talented young man. He, he designed his own website. Yes. So if you need a website designer, Leo is your guy. He does all that stuff. So LeoRodriguez.com is right there. And uh, yeah, go and check out. And also, if you need an officiant for your wedding, if, like you're getting married, let's say you're getting married. I yeah. mean, I, I don't see that happening to you, but because I know, I know, I know how we are. But let's say yeah. that you wanted to get married. You got a mail order bride or something like that. You, you could, I mean, you could. And Leo can perform. Could you do it virtually during the pandemic? I think you could. Yeah. Yeah, you can. That's yeah. Been a, a lot now. It's a wow. lot now. So you know, it's too you easy could. to get married. It's too easy to get married. Now. Ignacio, Leo Ignacio <laughs> Rodriguez. There he is. That's it. Iggy. That's it. Hey, I want some Silvana dish. Silvana, I know. I, oh, that she was so I good in that episode, dish. right? I want some dish. I want some gossip. We want to know what happens to uh, Sophie in the next episode. Oh no, she's gonna. Uh, yeah, you yeah. know, it, it's a lot of twists and turns, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I see a, a, a some some kind of love scene coming up with what that involves Savannah, not with me, of course not, because I'm her uh, ex-husband. Ex husband right? But uh, wow, you'll see, you'll oh, see. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna announce that she was getting married or something like that. I, oh, no, no, well, she no, just divorced know. Vince, who is who is. Uh, no, okay, I have right. to watch Vince Progress and to keep following her story. Binge watch it. Yeah. All right, so everybody watch Gabon's Produce. If you need Leo, you can get a hold of Leo. We want to thank Leo because he's my right-hand man. Boy, Leo, you I, I don't even know where I'd be without you. So thank you, honey bunny. Stay tuned next week so you can see what Maria got in the mail. Oh, my God, I can't believe you I know, sent no, me something. No. You're so sweet. See, he's I'm good. So he's good with a cliffhanger. He's really good with a cliffhanger. <laughs> thank you, Leo. You're so Thank you, sweet. Leo. And next year for, for our two, well, um, for our three, uh, four year, we'll have a big party. And... This is oh, episode nice. 156. We got, we'll do many things. Don't worry. Well, once this we're thing is over, we're going to celebrate. Yes. All right. All right, buddy. Thank you, Leo. I love you guys. Love later, you, honey. Bye, bye. bye, sweetheart. Wow. It's crazy. All, all the stars are calling in. All the stars are that's calling in. All the irregulars. Correct. Well, that's what it is. The regulars and irregulars. I was trying to get a hold of Lavinia. I was hoping she would call in. Uh huh. Let me see. Well, I'm going to make a quick announcement. Yes, then please. Regarding uh, Gavon's produce. Please tell me about it, because I, I, I'm telling you, it was my favorite episode. I was so... <laughs> it was amazing. From Brooklyn. Well, Mail order from Brooklyn. Um, so, uh, you know, to keep the, the show fresh, Yeah. I want to keep on adding new characters in, as if I, as I done. I brought in uh, Chris Greco. Chris was... Uh, he plays uh, one of the... Uh, Nephews of uh, Artie Pasquale. Okay. Uh, a member of The Sopranos. He's a new cast member. Is he the one that was across the table from Silvana? That's correct. He's so good. He's amazing. And he had a great time, and Silvana did a great scene with him. They worked really well together. They'll be doing more scenes together. But uh, I'm in negotiations with this person's uh, agent right now. Tough negotiation. Yeah. But uh, I'd like to announce that Angelo... Mastrolia. What? Will be joining the cast. You mean the Angelo Mastrolia? Angelo Mastrolia. I mean, the guy is 100% New Jersey. He's watching right now. Wow. And, uh, you know, I, all he has to do is say yes to his agent. And uh, he'll be doing a couple of scenes. Wow. Maybe more. That so is really, really exciting. I'm telling Thanks. you, Thanks. this episode Thank was you. just crazy how good it was. Yes. Hey, listen. Why don't we take a moment and yes. do the part of our show called Get Go ahead. ahead! Keep eating! I think it's that time. All right, maybe we can get Lavinia to call in, but I think she's already started drinking. Oh, yeah. All right, so, um, okay, so, what did I make tonight? You know, I went with guy food. I went with ballpark guy food. So, I'm still on the keto diet, so I got to make sure I get stuff. So, I made sausage and peppers, one of my favorite things that I haven't had in a long time. S stop it. You have to wait. Sausage and peppers, but for you, because I didn't have any bread in the house, I felt bad. Oh, yeah, some over there. What? You brought it? Anyway. Stop! Oh, no! Oh, I had it! You almost had it! Sausage and peppers, delicious. What do I have in this? Garlic? Extreme Fe closer. One of my, <laughs> one of my secrets is fennel. I put a little fennel seed oh, in there. God, oh, that's yeah. good. 
Uh, red peppers, of course, with dahlia onions. Oh, my um, God. On, uh, onion, a little onion powder, a little parsley, and garlic, and that's it. You don't need much with this. Oh, and Marsala wine. I like to... Oh, and I also put a little vinegar, balsamic vinegar in there to caramelize those onions. Mm. And then this is just brown rice because I felt bad I didn't have any bread. He was trying to... Because I'm trying to be good. Now, for salad... <laughs> Stop it. I'm not doing anything. Oh, my God. You know, you're supposed to have salad last. It's good for the, the yeah, colon. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. Oh. So I made this is a spinach salad. Mm. There's spinach in there, English cucumber, blue cheese crumble, avocado, bacon. Mm. Bacon. This is guy food tonight. Bacon, and uh, I'm going to put a raspberry vinaigrette and an extra virgin olive oil on that. Mama no, mia. No salt, doesn't need any salt, but a little pepper because we got the bacon and the blue cheese crumble. Unbelievable. Otherwise, now, let me, what are we having for dessert? More? Well, for dessert, but I didn't, I told you not to bring pastries. Oh, I'm my favorite. Listen, I gained 18 pounds in quarantine. 18. So I had to lose it, and I've lost nine of it in the last Wow. Month. I had to, otherwise, I can't fit into my pants. We're having watermelon. Oh, the my sense. God. Seedless watermelon. Seedless watermelon. Oh, I love it. It's good for... Uh, <clears throat> Is that true? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes, that's... Uh... You know, when I was a kid, I don't know how you guys did it in Jersey, but in the north end of Boston, we had a truck that came around. It was the watermelon truck, and the, the oh, it was an old Italian guy, and he would yell, watermelon, watermelon. And my mother used to say, go down and get a watermelon. And I figured it was like a buck back then or something. Less maybe, like 35 cents, crazy. And But nobody wanted to do it because you had to run all the way downstairs. We lived on the sixth floor, walk up. Wow. And then you had to carry the water alone all the way up. Oh, my God. But, you know, you did it because you loved your mother. That's, oh, yeah. So all the Italian kids, we'd run down there, get a watermelon in the summertime, and run right... Well, we couldn't run because that thing was heavy. <laughs> and we were like eight or nine. But, you know, not like kids now. Like, we really... We hustled. Oh, yeah. You we had, had to. Hustle. You had yeah. to. I remember my mother going shopping and, and putting all the bags in the back of the station wagon and then uh, coming home. If we weren't home when she came home to, you know, help her with the bags, yeah. Woofa! Hey, listen, you know what I think? Uh, Johnny, sure. is Johnny Tamara still out there? We, maybe we can have him call in quickly, but I don't know if he's still there. I don't know. I was trying to get Lavinia to call in, but I don't know. what She might be asleep, but I do want to have Johnny sleep. on the show soon. Yeah, she might, might be. Might be passed out, though. Well, I'm you know, I called sleep. it sleep. I said maybe she's hit the hay early, but I don't know. And uh, I was hoping Marisa would, would uh, be on tonight, but... So what we're going to do with the shows is we're going to mesh them together. Yes. Uh, Leo will do that. He will do that. Once you know, We have a YouTube channel. What's the story with Maria has a YouTube channel. And oh my God, it's Johnny tomorrow. Oh my God. Johnny, hold on, honey. I'm going to put you on speak. Oh my God, it's the handsome Johnny tomorrow. What's up, buddy? What's up? I'm still here. Of course I'm watching. How are you? You're so <laughs> cute. Johnny, what's going on with this Honey Zoomers? Fill, fill us in. What is it? Hey, man, it is the first sitcom about the pandemic filmed during the pandemic. Oh, my God. So And it's uh, a writer from Manhattan, an actor from Brooklyn, another actor from the Bronx, a composer from New Jersey, and we all worked remotely. Wow. And we created this series about the coronavirus during the, the quarantine, and it's been pretty, uh, pretty crazy. It's been a lot of fun to do it. But now, the, the, the name The Honey Zoomers, is that a, that's obviously a takeoff of uh, a Jackie Gleason, yes. right? Yeah, well, yeah, we love the odd couple, we love all in the family, we love the honey orders. and the Zoomers is about, you know, because people are getting these Zoom calls. Yeah, yeah, of now course. Now huge. So, um, a couple of the episodes, uh, we do Zoom calls with other, you know, guest stars, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've got a little cracking going on, so what happened? Wow. And you just, uh, I think you put the link up there for it, right? I did, yes. Yes, I did. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you, great. honey. Yeah, Chris was on my first show three years ago. <laughs> I had to have him come back. But he's a pain in the ass, isn't he? Who? No, he's one of the, the best, best guys I've ever met in my life. He really is. And after this, I'm going to give him a little haircut because I got the I got the little, the little trimmers now. I'm nice. gonna, oh, my God. I'm helping my guy friends out. I'm trimming their hair. So he's going to look clean shaven and beautiful because, <laughs> you know, I went to talk to him during the pandemic because I needed to borrow a microphone for something. And he looked like a homeless person with his beard. 
I was like, what in God's name? That, and then he then, but you filmed Gavon's with that beard. Yes, yes. Know, I loved it. Well, it that's why I'll tell you about what how that came about. Yeah, I can't wait. But Johnny, listen, when this uh, when we get past all this craziness, or maybe I'll even have you, you know, call in some other night, and we'll, we can after we uh, everybody watch the Honey Zoomers. Thank you, Leo, for posting that, sweetheart. Thank you, Leo. And the Wanderer, uh, unfortunately, got we're very lucky it got postponed. Oh. So we'll be at Paper Mill Playhouse next April May. Wow. Oh my Mill. God, that's amazing. Historic Playhouse. Yeah, that's the story of Dion, right? Yes. If everything goes well, you know, okay, so yeah, I know that's that. that's been in the works for a couple of years, but now with this, everything got pushed back. But we're hoping that things yeah. get back on schedule. We're looking but forward Dion to it. Al- he has an album out called Blues with Friends, and it's number one on the blues charts right now. You're kidding me! Unbelievable. Eighty-one years old, and he has a number one album on the blues charts. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. Well, look at Tony Bennett. He's restarted, huh. restarted his career yeah, at exactly. eighty. And, I mean, you know, people love this stuff. Why not? It doesn't matter how old. Well, if you're a musician, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you can still oh, make yeah. people happy with your music, right. that's all that matters. Absolutely. Wow, Johnny. Well, listen, honey, thank you for calling in because I, when I saw that, I was like, I want to tell people about it. So we'll, as things get closer to all that stuff happening, you'll have to call in again or co- just come to the studio, okay? You got it. I, I love you very friend. much. Give, give your wife and your son a big hug. They're so wonderful. I follow you, Johnny. You. Take care, John. Christopher, you're the best man. He, he is right. the best, right? <laughs> he really is. All he right, is, honey. He is. We'll talk to you I soon. what she says about you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, well, like I said, he's a pain in the ass, but obviously nobody <laughs> listens. Everybody still defends you. <laughs> some people don't like me. People, well, some people don't like me either. That's not everybody is, as they say, socially compatible. Yes. Right? right? Holy cow. Listen, uh, Johnny, we're going to keep everybody posted on what Johnny tomorrow is doing. We have so many friends here. Um, and thank you, honey. We love you, and we'll talk to you real soon, okay? Yes, love you both. Go Yankees, go Red Sox. Uh, uh, you see, that's why I love Johnny. Because he says go Yankees oh, and go Red Sox. Why would he say go Red Sox? Because though. he's okay. trying to be a nice guy. Because that's my team. Not everybody just is just about one thing. He's a good guy. He's like, that's why he gets along with everybody. Do you ever hear anybody say anything bad about Johnny Tamara? No. no, never. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, bye, honey. Okay, bye. Oh my God! Wait a minute, Silvana Mastroli is out. Do you think we can what get? What a beautiful Sil- woman. We love Silvana. Can we get Silvana to call in? Yeah, call in Silvana. The whole family's watching. I Angelo know. said hello to you. Hi, Angelo. Oh Why my God! Why do you meet him? Oh my God! I can't wait. I love them. I have never met a Australia I didn't like. Yeah. Is it possible that there's one that you don't uh, like? I don't no. think so, because the two that you didn't meet yet are just fantastic. Yeah. Wait. I I met. Uh, what Darlena? I yeah. met Darlena's oh, met Darlena. husband. Yeah. yeah, because Lynn and I were doing a show at the uh, at the New Leaf, uh-huh. and they the whole bunch of them came up. Yeah, and yeah. Jerry yeah. came up. It was it was amazing. That family is so supportive. It's unbelievable. Do you think Silvana heard us? We gotta get Silvana. Do you have my number, honey, or just call Chris's then? Oh. If you don't have my number, and then we can put her on speakerphone. I wanted to get. Yeah, Silvana should definitely call. Her. I want to shout out to Mario Devilla. Mario Devilla. He's oh, such an amazing guy. He is the manager at Brandy's. I can't wait till Brandy's is open again. All right. Uh, oh, oh my God! It's Silvana. Silvana, say something, would you? <laughs> He's like, oh, she just. Are you there, Silvana? Sh- shut the TV off and the computer off and listen to the phone. <laughs> She's laughing now. Hello? Silvana, are Can you, you hear there? Me? Did you have a few cocktails? What happened? Uh, hi, guys. Hi, my you love. Guys How are, are you? So amazing. I'm sitting here with my entire family watching you guys. Well, wow. we, we were just saying we've never met a Australia we didn't like. Oh, my goodness. My brother is so excited. Maria, first of all, congratulations on your three year anniversary. Well, You're thank so you. Amazing. Thank you, You're honey. Incredible. Um, you know, sometimes I don't catch it live, but I always catch it like on a rewatch. Yeah. And uh, you always make me feel so like comfortable, and oh. you comfort me, and, and you make me feel like ah, oh, like relaxed. Wow, you know? it's like I was giving you a massage or something. Oh yeah, there. you're a, a verbal <laughs> massage. <laughs> you're just so amazing and so. 
genuine and, and you make me feel like I'm not alone in this world. And, you know, oh. and sometimes I'll watch it like 2 a.m. and I'm like, oh, you're my friend. I love you. I want to hug you. Oh, I love you that. She, she said, said the same thing so to me love. yesterday. No, she didn't say the same thing to me. <laughs> so. And a genuine woman, a very genuine woman. And if you don't mind, Angelo, who just got, he was just surprised. I just watched him in his greatest surprise by Chris asking him to be a part of the Gabons. Oh, my God. He's going to be so, so good. And he turned around and looked at me and he said, did you know this was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> <He did. laughs> and what did you I say? Said, yeah. He said, you didn't tell me, so you mind if I put him on? I'll put, I have oh, no, people. please put oh, him on. Oh, my God. I'll have Chris the interview. Oh my God, Angelo! I'm. Oh, uh, listen, what do you guys don't want to give me a heart attack or what? Maria, this is Jerry's dad. Jerry's dad. Well, first of all, Angelo, I love Jerry. I love Silvana. I love, I love all you guys. No, no, I heard you were the. I you you are the original Jersey guy. He's the best. Chris. Yeah, I guess from back in the seventies. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. You're like the prototype. Yeah, it was the kind of the Eldorado dude, you know, and the Z28 guy. I love that guy. Who doesn't love uh, that guy? Not on me. I got a couple miles on me, but, uh, you know, I can still hang. Listen, the, 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 <laughs> the cars with the miles, at least you know they're broken in. <laughs> I know, I'm broken, all right. That's me too, honey, me too. Well, listen. listen uh, yeah, man, it's a great show. Uh, it, it, Chris, uh, oh, Maria, by the way, congratulations. Thank you, honey, thank you. Uh, on your 30-year anniversary. Uh, and I'm flattered, Chris, uh, you know, asking me to be a part of, uh, uh, of this. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm too much of an actor. I just gotta act like, you know, like me. Just you be know? yourself. That's no, it. I, I don't, I don't follow scripts. No. Any, any scripts. I'm just gonna be, uh, Angelo. There's no script. But that's all we, that's all people need. They're asking, they're clamoring for Angelo. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. espresso and say, hey, buongiorno. Oh, my God. That's perfect. You know? Who's going to be better than that? Who's better than you, Angelo? Nobody. Nobody, nobody. Nobody, honey. So, listen, congratulations again. And, uh, Chris, thank you for asking. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yes, Absolutely, I yeah. hope so. Thank you, Angelo, for calling in. And hello, oh. Mr. and Mrs. Mastrolia. I love them. They're so the nice. beautiful uh, people. Wow. Josephine. Hey, what a you this you is. Josephine, <laughs> get fine, get fine. That's your demo, the 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 I love you. I love you. Oh. What a sweetheart. <laughs> Ciao, grazie, signora. Grazie, Tanya. <laughs> All right, guys, we took enough of your time. We love it. We love it. And Jerry's on there, too. Good success to you, Maria. God bless you. Stay well, stay safe. Love you guys. I'll I love, love you, soon, too. Okay? Bye, Sil. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you, love. honey. Love you. Okay. Good night. Uh, good night. night. Now listen, I wow. just had a great idea. We're gonna have to have an episode with Jerry Mastrolia uh, and Johnny tomorrow, where they either can come to, we'll see if things pass and we can come to the studio, that'd be one thing, or they can call in, because they're both doing amazing shows. Jerry Mastrolia is doing the Golden Gaze on, he's doing it like virtual, and it's like taken off. It's yeah. Even Cuomo, even Chris Cuomo, they had them on the, uh, on CNN. Unbelievable. I mean, it was like a pick, a CNN pick. So this is a big deal. Jerry Mastrolia, most wonderful little guy. And he's uh, of the of the famous Mastrolias of New Jersey. Yes, of... Uh, of uh, uh, Where the hell are they from? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're from Jersey. We don't want to... It's I like saying Lodi for some reason. Undisclosed location. <laughs> yeah. Undisclosed location. All right. So we're getting close to the... Did I just scratch my mask? I don't know. My but mask. It looks good. Your Does mask it, is like really. Is that's official. like a serious. You know who made my mask? Scott Ryan's mom. And she's an Orioles fan. <laughs> but she made. Stop laughing. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the Orioles? Stop it. You're going to ruin the microphone. Oh my God. 
She's an Oriole fan, but this is what I'm trying to say. But she made me a Red Sox mask because she really cared about it. No. All right, who do we Everybody have left caring. there? Everybody care about this one, that one, this People one. care about each other. Toronto! What's the matter with you? People get on him with a caring. The handsome Joe Gula. Joe, where is he? I say you passed him by. Joe, Joe Gullah. I love that guy. Gullah. Oh. Yeah, he goes by Gullah. I'm sorry, Gullah. But there is a there is another one. There's a Joe uh, Gula that's like a restaurateur. And he has ads now, Joe, that are running. I know uh, for seafood. Uh, a mama. Yeah? A Joe Mama. Oh, all right. Yeah. You know a Joe Mama. Okay. So, <laughs> Joe Gullah, we love you so much. Uh, uh, you saw the two Italians in masks. Well, Joe, he is my first guest ever on my show, and now he's my first guest back from the shelter in place. But I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to have any more guests for a while. I might just keep doing the call-in thing. Uh -huh. But I had to take... Hi, Andy Prasky, another great Jersey guy. Andy, what exit? Oh, my God. Andy's fantastic. You would love Andy, and he's always in good shape. Andy, my God. And uh, Mandar's out there. Mandar... Uh, so many great people. A lot of this is a lot of Jersey. Very Jersey heavy yes. show tonight. Yes. I don't see Jersey Mike though. No. Where's Jersey Mike? You like those subs? They're pretty good. Um. Yeah. I had I had an Italian sub from them. Yeah. My it's dad, a little too much vinegar seems though. To like it. Yeah. You have to tell them to go light on the vinegar or put it on the side. Otherwise, they just drown. It's too much. Right. Too much. Little uh, word to the wise. All right. So we're running a little uh, low on time now. All right. Once again, if they want to find Gavones. How do they find it? What do you? Is there anything you can tell us about this season? Like a little bit. You you said okay. that there's some new characters coming in. Yeah. All right. And um, what do we? A little cliffhanger. A little cliffhanger. Oh uh, wow! So uh, the last episode, uh, I I mean, being a uh, independent guerrilla filmmaker uh, during the pandemic, uh, I I had to film something during the pandemic, and I didn't want to bring everybody together to do it. Of course, I couldn't. So I just came up with this idea about my character coming out of jail because he did something in the further uh, uh, previous episode. Yeah. So I, I, you know, just by chance, I was letting my beard grow and it uh, kept growing and growing. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to shave my head and I'm going to, that's how I'm going to do it. So it I shaved great. my head and I did the scene. I went down to Jersey City. I had access to the, the courthouse. Nobody was around. It was at the beginning of the pandemic. The streets were empty. Yeah. And I just started filming. I started filming. I kept filming. And then uh, I got into Times Square at that point. And uh, that's where it was supposed to end. And then I just said, you know, let me go further. But you know what I love? You yes. looked. You kind of had that Paul Manafort prison thing happening. Because remember, Paul Manafort went into prison and he had black hair. Yeah. And then you saw him and he had the salt and pepper hair. He was shuffling yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. And you did the same thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, because uh, I showed the, uh, some highlights of the previous episode, to, so you could see how I look like, what I normally look like. Right. And then when you see this person, you're probably like, "Who is that? Who is that?" And then probably, you know, hopefully you find well, out. At that first, I didn't know it was you. Yeah. Really? I had no idea it was you. I thought, oh, "Okay, he's got some new actor on." Yeah. And then I was like, "Oh my God, that's Chris!" Yeah. And the only reason I knew it was because I had met you for that microphone, and you had that scraggly beard, and I was like, "Yeah, wow." So, but tonight, after we eat our delicious food, I am going to cut your hair and trim your beard. Oh, wow. I'm going to make you look nice. Well, the beard's pretty good. You're yeah. okay with the beard. I'm okay. But I'm going to give you a little trim, just a little bit, clean it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Because I got the uh, guys, I have the little trimmer now if you need yeah. it. Or girls with super short hair. I can I can take care of you. I can hook you up. Because a lot of people weren't able to. They looked but a they little... could go to uh, GavonesProduce.com. Or they could search uh, Facebook, go into the search bar and hit Gavon's Produce. I have a page up there. Okay. And they can watch the episode. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, my God. I watched it twice because I, I, I didn't want to miss anything. And I, like I said, the first like two minutes, I didn't realize it was you. Yeah. I'm like, who is this guy? The great crazy. Eric Van Zanten reappears as the Uber driver. Yeah, he's really funny, actually. His beautiful wife, uh, Genesis, did a lot of the camera work for me. Oh, okay. In, I was in the car, ask you. yeah. Uh, all that scene, she that was her. Really Everything good. before and after that was just me setting the camera up on a floor, setting the camera up here, so, you know. Because you did most of it by yourself, so I was like, how did he do this? How did he film himself? So you just set it up and then you just let it run, right? Yeah. And you I, edit it? Yeah. Yeah, wow. I, and I know in my head what I need and what I don't need. I, I don't need to shoot the whole scene at this angle. I just need to shoot this one line at this angle. Right. You know? So how much time away. do we have, Jimmy? So I think we're at the end of our... 
Is okay. that it winding down? Yeah, usually we're winding down. Okay, we want to thank Jim Bell. He's a producer and engineer. We want to thank Armed Radio. We want to thank Joe Rocks. Thank you, Joe Rocks. If Joe Rocks hadn't asked me to come on three years ago, I wouldn't be doing this show. So thank you, Joe Rocks. Thank I you, really Rocks. appreciate that very much. And if you want to watch uh, his show, it's on Thursday nights at 10 p.m. on Armed Radio. Okay, we will see you really soon. Please come back. You can catch us in podcasts on uh, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. We love and appreciate you. Good night, everybody. Three years. Three years. Woo! <laughs>